she's going to approach cautiously with her sword drawn, and uh, she's going to kind of mo- motion with it a little bit to, to her cohort so they see what she's doing, and she's going to go and uh, poke the hole. All right. You poke the hole, and a door slides forth, revealing a secret room. Like right here? I'm showing it to you right now. Hmm. Okay. Um, perception, gonna check out the room. Obviously the door's not trapped, because nothing blew up in my face. Yep. But what's inside the room? What do I see? Nothing at From first. outside. You have to walk in. Oh, of course. I, I have dark vision. I should be able to see in there. Come it's on. not about that. Okay, alright. I will, uh... She'll say, like, a little silent yeah, what prayer to, are you? to Liara. I'm half-elf. Okay. Uh, she'll say a silent prayer to Liara and uh, walk through the door. Mm, how many companions have you? The voice seems to emanate all across the walls. Okay. Um, how many companions have you? Is yes. that what it said? Uh, two friends. More so than just companions. Mm, very well. Light shines. Uh, three beams of light shine down, revealing cloaks. Three of them. One in each light beam. Damn. All right, quick. Uh, are the colors different? or? No, they're all the same. They look like this. Sweet! I like it. What is it? I don't have a problem getting old. It uh, is a cloak of the manta ray. While wearing this cloak with its hood up, you can breathe underwater, and you have a swimming speed of 60 feet. Pulling the hood up or down requires an action, though. Okay. Cloak of the, the manta ray? Manta ray, yes. Shit. Oh, I can't copy paste anything because I'm so reading you out can breathe, wa- You breathe underwater, you said? Breathe underwater, and your swimming speed will equal 60 feet. So basically, you become like a shark or a manta ray. And like it's an it. action to pull the he- hood up or down. Does it make a difference? Yes. The hood up, you can do it. It activates the cloak. Oh, okay. Because it's kind of has these manta ray mandible things and your face becomes like that of a manta ray. So. Gotcha. That looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just as excited. She likes and, uh, things. Three of these doors are like those that you've seen before, but the one to the south here, it just looks like a plain wooden door. Very simple. Well, let me so, your... does that oh. mean that I can... Here through it. Yes. Roll perception. Yep. Damn it. I can give you. Pers- uh, I can give you advantage on it since there's nothing distracting you. Sweet. And so, you hear nothing on the other side. There is absolutely nothing, and you are sure of that. She'll, she'll open it up. All right. You find a library. Oops, that's hide area. <laughs> Reveal area. Very good, man. You find a library. Nice, toasty, um, or cozy bear rug and sofa and all that cool stuff in there. And bookshelves and books and all that. Uh, she's going to go plop down immediately on comfy furniture. All right. She's also going to look around for things that she could, you know remove from this room and take with her on a more permanent basis. <laughs> General theme of the room in terms of the books? Um, just seems like lore of the land, like the outside world. Um, and, let me... Oops. Here we go. There's that. If you guys want to read through that, you can. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. at, at your own leisure, of course. Um, it's very, very hefty. Well, not very, very hefty, but hefty for my type of campaigns. Huh. Um, it's just loading and spinning for me. Yep. Okay. Mine finally popped up. Uh, can you email those um, out? Maybe yeah, I'll email them out too. 
Um, and then it's, a, it's in a handout too. Yeah, it, it's it is just now. taking forever to load. Um, it's yeah, this is been a long time. Then there's world the map. world map. Oh, wow, you did make the world the map better. Yeah, that's neat. Um, and then uh, also has. Oops, show the players. Um, capitals of certain places. Okay. And the so dash lines are main roads. Um, can we... Can I use, like, navigation or something to figure out where we are on this map? Uh, you know that looking... Uh, all the maps on the island for this dungeon have all been of your island. Okay. Uh, so I will take you guys to the world view and well the map where'd it go map hello there it is I will now reveal all no reveal areas Turn. son of a bitch is it supposed to be a black screen now there's a little sliver there's a little sliver but there you go should see that little red What's red circle. Oh, this is the map somehow. I, I just oh there we go. All right, load it. I switched to the world view, like kind of a transit. You're on that island. Um, basically, the library it gets feels that it doesn't want to give you too much information. Except it also has one more handout I can give to you. Um, it's giving you the locations of main big cities first and from there you can buy a new map to get like villages and towns and roadways and tradeways and all that but you also have access to this once it loads up all right yeah. those are kingdom names and the like Man, you just had a heyday with this, didn't you? I like it. Yeah. Son of a bitch, infinite loading circle again. Ah, oh, sorry. All right, that's fine. Just just send out all these in an email. I will. If, if you don't mind, because that's going to be yeah. cooler. And also, um, once you uh, so load them up once, they'll load faster the next time around. Yeah. As well. As far as the room's concerned that we're in, Andres really would be trying to look for things to, to yeah. pocket. Uh, There's nothing there really like, to pocket or... in here other than, you know, okay. like uh, lamp stands and the like. Uh, is there anything on the... There was a bookshelf, right? Is there anything there? That's, that that's what these fans? contain, you know, like the lore, okay. um, stuff like that. Sweet. Well, then she probably is going to get bored pretty quick because she doesn't really want to sit around. So. I mean, there's other... If you grab a few books, I have planned to write out a couple... Uh, like very small Skyrim style, you know, like maybe a page or two. Um, yeah, she'll she'll grab it. She'll grab some. I didn't. Anything quite have... having to do with like swordplay or um, romance or like adventure. Okay. Very good then. All right, so that's where you are on the world map, um, and then if you looked at the world map capitals in your handouts, those were all. The, the uh, capital cities are and the political map shows you the regions um, region names alright so that's that you are you guys are in this library it's rather cozy rather <coughs> um, odd for a place like this but like the elders said the uh, the dungeon is full of oddities from what what I've gathered on it, it seems it it warps to us, so to speak. Yes, it, it built itself around us. Um, I mean, we could. Hey, you guys did spend like almost the full day getting here, because you were just started walking on the road, and 
it finally it made itself appear to you. So it's pretty it's pretty late now too. Um, you guys could take a rest if you really wanted to, or you could keep going, or just a short rest and come back here later if you don't finish. Um. Fine to keep going if you guys are. I'd rather. I mean, we could always come back to this place. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Kesa is definitely sort of restless here. Books aren't really her thing. All right. All right. She's up and going. All right. Yeah, she, she she lets that. She lets the rest of the group know that she was very comfortable. So she just <laughs> groans as she gets up, and you know she's she's suffering for you guys. Yeah. So. <laughs> Turns out, like almost dying, really takes it out of someone. Yeah. Um. All right. So they're in the other room. There's the known passageway to the west, and then there's two unknowns: one to the north and one to the east. Let's take uh, a look at the north passageway. Oh, not that far. Okay. I'm gonna move here and keep this. Uh, I guess keep this watched and kind of listening it here and watching down this hallway. I just want to make sure nothing's sneaking up on yeah, us. Yeah, nothing's sneaking up at all. Um, whoa, why'd you move way over there? Um, there's something weird going on with my scrolling. Okay, I moved you there back. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So you listen in. <laughs> bunch of weird shit going on. Why did you just shoot up to the moon? I don't understand. Oh, it's cool. I'll put you back on Earth. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's grab you and bring you back down. Just, boom. All right. Um, yeah, you're listening to the door, and nothing really happens. Okay. Um, let's, uh, you don't really hear is, anything. Is the fog still door. in this passage, Matt? No, there's no more fog anymore. It's It All dissipated. Right. Can I close this door? Yes, absolutely. All right, awesome. We'll close that up. And uh, well, where do you guys want to go? I mean, I would, I would say let's keep continuing our our same passage to the east, and let's clean out, I guess that that line, and then we'll we'll start to move up from there and from our main room as well, see where things start to match up. But I'd like east. to go as far east as we could. East, north, it's all the same to me. All the same. Kesa exactly. goes over here and kicks this door open. All right. <laughs> that is really satisfying. Really? Do you guys haven't tried kicking the doors open yet? I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to make that noise from here on out. Yep. All right. Oops, that's hide area. Got a reveal area. All right. The uh, hallway begins east and then turns to the north. Let me get you a better vision of this. Okay, there you go. All right, move in. Yeah. What are you guys doing? You just see an empty room so far. Um, I'll take a I'll take a lead here. I'd like to just tap the ground in front of me with the staff, right. and. Uh, Ultimately, just kind of move slowly, looking for. I don't like big empty hallways. I'm all right. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just um, moving slowly. Uh, right. I, as you guys move further ahead. into the room, the hallway still shut behind you, but this time the floor, everything is gone. You're in a void of darkness, but you're still kind of floating. Everyone, make a DC eight wisdom check. Kesa, you are freaking out. You are standing in midair. You don't know if you're standing or falling or floating or whatever. It is completely, complete emptiness. You don't see anything at all. Honors, the same thing happens with you. You are freaking out. Lethlin, I mean, it's like the one save I'm good at, too. <laughs> you, however, you hear words in the air. You can't see anything. You are in a void, almost like when you start to meditate and drift off, but a much stronger void. At night they come without being fetched, and by day they are lost without being stolen. Speak. 
You speak of the stars. And stars shine, illuminating a passageway out. Right behind you, you, um, Honoris and Kesa, you stop freaking out, and you see the magnificent splendor as you are, it seems, in the stars. You see the world beneath you. You see the beautiful span of continent that you just saw in the map form. And you slowly fall down back to the room where you are with stars leading your way out. Alright, so you guys can make your way out now. Very, That's okay? Yeah. Very good. The right. walls seem to emanate. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm good. Good. That was fucking awful. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the, that's, this room was just a big void. Um, and it leads the way back into the other passageway. Like, uh, that's sealed off behind you. So you are free to leave now. You just heard the praises of gods. Oh, this yeah. this is all sealed. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's all. Right. Oh, oh okay. yeah, my I'm bad. Um, I thought there might have been something up there that we just hadn't got to yet. Nope, sorry, I forgot to reveal That's completely. There we go. There we go. Hey, yeah. All right. Yeah, it was just a void space, a hey. very odd thing. It's all zen. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's better now. Yeah, it's good. You're like, oh god. I rather. I rather... Go ahead. I'm sorry. What? what? Honors. Uh, oh, I... What are you doing? Well, you, you wanted to say something. It keeps fucking cutting out on me. I'm sorry. Um, I was just going to say that I'd rather meditate when I want to meditate, not being forced to meditate. Just walk into a room, instant relaxation time. Oh. Alright. So there's a hallway right here. Is your thing messed up again, Kevin, or did you mean to go over there? No, no, I'm putting myself um, right at the side there. I was going to let uh, Onris do her thing if she wanted to. Alright. Yeah, there's a doorway to the north. Sorry. Uh, oh. Oh, now I'm getting weird scrolling. Wow. So do okay, you just have those place. memorized... Do you just have those memorized, or do you, do you actually come up with those? On no, I've been making them. Uh, or... Some of them I've been making up. For the most part, all these have been made up. The ones in the email weren't. But, uh... Okay, well, she she says that to you kind, kind of catty, but not really. Like, she's kind of humoring you and stuff like that. And then puts your ear up to the door. So you can't respond, because she's listening. So she, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, can't talk right now. You hear silence. Okay, I'm, I'm listening to the story. Right. You hear nothing but silence. And then, uh... She's gonna just step back and pull out pull out her sword again and say, "After you." I'd be happy to open the door unless you want to. Th nope, doors kicked open. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whatever it was. Well, like good. You're like, oh man, some of these snappers. She's on our kick and roll. There we go. Uh, it's a hallway with some lanterns and another door at the end. I'm gonna take a look at one of the lanterns. Just the lantern. And the grid is like. Really hard to move on this. Yeah. Hold, hold alt. Hold alt. Hold alt. Yep, and then move yourself wherever you want to go. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. a, a viewer taught me about that uh, the other time. Oh my god, that's been so useful. Um, oh. Cool. Yeah. The when I create it, I create it to a certain grid, and I even made myself a guideline for it to align the grids. But something about roll twenty, it's really hard to get fine tuned. No. Um, like scaling. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not." All right. Well, apparently, Kesa can't tell crap about these things. So. Oh, they're just regular lanterns. Okay. Inside is it's just a regular lantern. Even their fire, they they're definitely oil lanterns. Fresh, it seems, as if they just appeared. I'll pick up the one that's Anything at me. Appear and disappear vibe from this place. Anything happen when I grab it? Nope. All right, I'll grab the other one too. All right, you have two lanterns holding. You're holding two lanterns. 
Where's your staff? Uh, staff's on the back, I guess, okay. if I've got something to, to hold it. Um, if... Well, uh, oh. You come to a door. Sorry. Don't you have dark vision, though? Yeah. He just likes okay. it. Cool. Fixed upon the door though. ahead of you are three heads. One of a lion, one of a fish, and one of a strange creature with a strange head with a giant eye. A single giant eye? Yeah, a single giant eye. Yes, not a beholder, just a, a single big giant eye. And it looks like you could push one of these if you so wanted. Well, we got cloaks of water breathing, so fish? No? Just... Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, what do you Sorry, guys want to choose? Um, wait, so, okay, you can push... There, the there's three the heads thing. on the door. One is of a lion, one is of a fish, and one is of a strange creature. It's, uh, it's a strange head with a very giant eye. Um, it looks like you, know you can push one of them in. I'll, I'll stand by whatever decision you make. I'll move myself off to the side here and and watch. And the uh, on it. top of the door says choices. Any, in... any, well, you don't get to be chosen of Poseidon by dealing with lions and cyclopses. <laughs> Fish it is. All right. So you have chosen for whatever reason you have chosen fish you must be very cowardly and the wow. door does it, it seems moved, to be right locked on, and you hear water rushing somewhere and you hear scraping of stone and the door burst open water level to your feet <laughs> <laughs> 